Facebook Five today we like to present about Pakistan factors and India foreign policy. Okay, today meet my group Haji Aiman, Mama Kamal Zaman, Mama Taufik, Amin Shuhada, Irina Masara, Siti Nasha Kira, and Sri Darnisa. So, this is our group overview. Okay, let's start with the introduction. Uh, Pakistan and India, uh, two neighbour countries in South Asia, have complex foreign policy that shaped by, by various factors. So, by understanding this factor is uh, uh, crucial for analysing the foreign policy choice uh, made by this nation. So, as the foreign policy uh, of Pakistan, it is influenced by its uh, strategic location, uh, security cons concern, the Kashmir issue, uh, nuclear capability and its role uh, in the Islamic world. Uh, but in the other hand of the India foreign policy is categorized by non-alignment, aspiration for regional hegemony, uh, economic diplomacy, security concern and active multilateral engagement. So by understanding this element, uh, it might provide insight to the Pakistan and India aims and its driving uh, force behind their foreign policy decision. And it also we will know uh, about the rationale by, behind their foreign policy choices. Okay, let's move to the historical background. So Pakistan uh, officially established in the 1947 as a separate Muslim state uh, following the partition of British India. Uh, Pakistan was created to protect the political, social and economic uh, interests of Muslims. However, the country faced challenges due to the uh, regional disparity and cultural difference which is leading to uh, the secession of uh, East Pakistan which uh, became Bangladesh in 1971. So Pakistan's history has been influenced by the many factors and also the acquisition of nuclear weapons in the late uh, 1990s has also played significant role in shaping Pakistan foreign policy. So by understanding this historical factor, it is crucial to grasp the complexity and motivation behind Pakistan uh, foreign policy decision. Security concern. The territorial dispute over Kashmir, the ongoing territorial dispute over Kashmir is one of the most significant security concern for Pakistan. Kashmir is a region that is claimed by both India and Pakistan. The two countries have fought three wars over Kashmir and the dispute remains unresolved. The dispute over Kashmir has a major impact on Pakistan foreign policy. Pakistan has long sought to internationalize the Kashmir issue and it has used the dispute uh, as a ju justification for its support terrorism. For other security concerns, Pakistan faces a number of uh, other security concerns including terrorism, which is in Pakistan is a major hub for terrorism. The country has been home for the, to a number of terrorist groups including the Pakistani, Taliban and Lashkar e Taiba. Uh, terrorism is a major threat to Pakistan internal security and it also poses a, a threat to Pakistan neighbor including India and, Pakistan, India and Afghanistan. Uh, second, nuclear proliferation. Pakistan is a nuclear armed state. Uh, the country nuclear weapons program is a major concern for the international community. There is a risk that Pakistan nuclear weapons could fall into the wrong hand or that Pakistan could use its nuclear weapons to threaten its neighbor neighbors. Uh, lastly, economic instability, which is uh, Pakistan is an economically unstable country. The country has a high, de high debt burden and its economy is uh, vulnerable to external stock. Economic instability is a major security concern for Pakistan. It can lead to social unrest and it can make the country more vulnerable to terrorism and extremists. Okay, geostrategic position. Uh, it means the significance of Pakistan location in South Asia. Pakistan is located in South Asia, a region that is a home to number of major power including India, China and United States. Pakistan location give a strategic importance in the region. The country is a key transit route uh, for the trade and energy and it also a major player in the fight against terrorism. Secondly, the impact of Pakistan location on regional and global relations. Pakistan location has a major impact on regional and global relations. The country relations uh, with its neighbor, particularly India, are often tense. Pakistan relations with the US have also been strained in, in recent years. The country nuclear weapons program has also been a source of tension with international community. Thirdly, uh, the role of major power and neighboring countries in shaping Pakistan foreign policy, which is, uh, is shaped by a number of factors, including its location in South Asia, its relation with major power, and its play, uh, its role play in with uh, neighbors. The United States, China, and India are all major players in Pakistan foreign policy. The United States have been a long time ally with Pakistan, but relations between the two countries have been strengthened in, in recent years. And China has become a 
economy and military partner of Pakistan and the two countries have close relationship. India is Pakistan's main rival and the two countries have a long history of conflict. Pakistan's foreign policy is complex and ever-changing. The country faces a number of strategic challenges and its location in South Asia gives a strategic importance in the region. Pakistan's relations with a major powers and its neighbor are all important factors in shaping its, its foreign policy. Okay, next, nuclear capability. The presence of nuclear weapons in the region has created delicate power dynamics between Pakistan and India. Nuclear deterrence based on the concept of mutual assured destruction and maybe has largely prevented major hostility between the two nations. Despite ongoing tension and spo sporadic border crashes, the understanding of MAD has deterred both countries from engaging in large-scale conflict. The stability provided by nuclear deterrence has prevented the escalation of tension into all-out war. However, the stability offered by nuclear deterrence is not without risk. The potential for escalation in crisis situation, the risk of non-state actors, inquiring nuclear materials and the possibility of accidental or unauthorized use of nuclear weapons for ongoing threats to regional stability. Pakistan's possession of nuclear weapons has impacted its relationship with the United States. Despite reservation about Pakistan's nuclear program, the United States recognized the importance of stable relationship to support regional stability and counter-terrorism efforts. The United States has provided military and economic assistance to Pakistan while advocating for non-proliferation measures and safeguards. This support aims to ensure the security and responsible management of Pakistan's nuclear arsenal. In conclusion, Pakistan's nuclear weapons program had significant implications for stability in the region and international relations. Political stability is a very important element in a country's foreign policy. It gives an important impact and influence in the success of a policy. But in Pakistan, the various internal problems that plague the country have somewhat affected their direction and foreign policies. Political instability, military influence and socio-economic challenges has given a huge problem in their country. The unstable structure of a government and its inclination to collapse in a short time due to unstable political structures. A change of government at national level may impact on foreign policy and foreign policy adventures sometimes translates into consequences at home. When it happens, there will be a change of government or change of regime. This change has caused Pakistan to have no solid and stable policy in their foreign policy. Second one is military influence. On 9 May, Pakistan former Prime Minister Imran Khan was arrested. His arrestment is somewhat common for Pakistan democracy. Each of the past five prime ministers have been indicted or imprisoned after leaving office. Pakistan's political scene has generally been characterized by one rule. Where the Pakistan armies will exist, it carries and typically persists no matter the consequences. Khan himself rose to leadership in 2018 with the countenance of the army and was removed from office in 2022 after he lost that backing. In short, the problem that plagued Pakistan has affected their direction and relationship between countries, especially India. Political instability in Pakistan is the best opportunity for the external interference, anti-state elements and pressure groups for the exploitation of their own selfish interests. The present political instability in Pakistan has raised the external and internal challenges for its society and state. Pakistan is facing serious challenges, especially in the realms of politics and economics. The global world is providing aid and assistance to Pakistan, but in presence of insincere leadership and political instable conditions, the huge foreign aid is not generating any positive results in Pakistan. The non-alignment movement emerged during the Cold War era when the countries were pressured to align with the United States or the Soviet Union. India, under the leadership of Jawaharlal Nehru, championed the India of non-alignment in making their foreign policy. The principle of non-alignment included maintaining independence, promoting peaceful coexistence, and avoiding military alliance. India advocated for the rights of smaller nations, supported decolonization efforts, and sought to create a world free from power bloc dominance. The strategic autonomy refers to India's commitment to pursue its national interests without being independent on any specific country or bloc. It allows Indi India to engage with multiple partners, pursue diverse economy and security ties, and shape its own destiny. So India, non-alignment and strategic autonomy have important implications for its foreign policy. They provide flexibility and ability to navigate complex global dynamics while safeguarding the national interests. 
Today, India follows a policy of multi-alignment seeking partnership with various countries across the different regions. This approach enables India to diversify its alliance, enhance economic cooperation, and maintain strategic balance. However, non-alignment and strategic autonomy present challenges. Balancing competing interests, managing geopolitical complexities, and addressing regional conflict require careful diplomacy and strategic maneuvering. In conclusion, India's non-alignment movement and strategic autonomy have fundamental pillars for its foreign policy to provide India the flexibility to engage with multiple partners, pursue independent interests, and shape its roles in the global arena. India, as the largest country in South Asia, aspires to be a regional power, and this has far-reaching implications for its foreign policy. With the security concerns as a top priority, India aims to secure its border, counter threats, and maintain stability in the region. Its strategic location and military capabilities allow it to play a crucial role in shaping the security dynamics of South Asia. But it's not just the sec security that drives India's aspiration. India recognized the economic potential of the region by promoting economic integration, enhancing trade, and improving connectivity. India seeks to boost its own economy and position itself as a regional economic powerhouse. This economic growth will not only benefit India, but also contribute to the overall development and prosperity of South Asia. India's regional power aspirations go beyond security and economics. It seeks to establish strategic partnership, enhance diplomatic ties, and exert the influence of regional organization. By doing so, India aims to shape regional policies, address common challenges, and foster cooperation among neighboring countries. However, India's aspirations are not without challenges, particularly when it comes to its relationship with neighboring countries. India's relationship with Pakistan is characterized by a long history of conflict, territorial dispute, and cross-border terrorism. Despite all occasional peace initiatives, trust deficits, and unresolved issues continue to strain the relationship. However, dialogue and engagement remain crucial for the regional stability and peace. India's relationship with China also presents a complex dynamic. While both countries engage in cooperation and trade, there are occasional border disputes and strategic competition. Managing these differences and maintaining the stability in the region is of paramount importance. India shares relatively friendly ties with a country like Bangladesh, Nepal, Sri Lanka. However, challenges such as border dispute, political difference, and concerns about external influence require ongoing dialogue and collaboration. In conclusion, India's aspiration to be a regional power in the South Asia has wide-ranging implications for its foreign policy. It aims to securities, boost the economy, and shape regional dynamics. While tension and challenges persist with neighboring countries, fostering dialogues, trust, and countries are crucial for a peaceful and prosperous South Asia. Economy, diplomacy, and security concerns in the India's strategic approach. For the economy, diplomacy, and trade enhancement, India recognized the importance of economic diplomacy in promoting national interests and global integration. The country has undertaken various initiatives to enhance trade and investment ties. Through sustenance efforts, India has fostered partnership with major powers such as the United States, European Union, and Japan. For the engagement with major powers, India's engagement with major powers is based on mutual interests and shared values. Collaborative frameworks such as, such as the India-US strategic partnership have resulted in the increased, increased trade and investment flows. Similarly, engagement with the European Union and Japan has, felici has felicitated technology transfer and market access benefiting both sides. For the security concerns, this, included, in this includes terrorism, border disputes, and cross-border infiltration. India faces security challenges that shape its foreign policy choices. Terrorism remains a significant concern with cross-border attacks, threatening regional stability. India actively collaborated, collaborates with international partners, shares intelligence and advocates for concerted actions against terrorism. Tension over territories like Jammu and Kashmir and Anugnal Pradesh, Pradesh influence India's foreign policy choices, necessitating diplomatic efforts and conflict resolution mechanism. For the foreign policy choices, especially Pakistan and China, India, India, foreign, India's foreign policy choices concerning Pakistan and China are shaped by security concern. With Pakistan, the focus is on addressing cross-border ter terrorism, promoting dialogue and reducing re re tension. India strives for a peaceful resolution for the Kashmir issue while safeguarding its national security interests. Regarding China, India more seeks a balanced approach that encompasses and cooperation and competition. The, the dynamics of the India-China relationships Body disputes and regional power that emits from India's foreign policy decision. So, for the multilateral engagement of India foreign policy, it can be seen whereas India's involvement in international forum and multilateral agreement is driven uh, by its aim to maintain sovereignty and foster good relations with the outside world, rather than being solely direct against Pakistan. For example, India joined Global Counter Terrorism Forum. So, this is because India has a lot of experience when dealing with the terrorism. 
since its beginning of its independent inter-regional chairmanship in their former regional relation and tackle the challenge of terrorism in South Asia by engaging uh, with neighboring countries and sharing expertise such as conducting joint training program, military and technical assistance. India, as a nuclear power, active support the destruction of the nu nuclear weapon and advocate for the world free of nuclear weapon within the framework of the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. In the policy of nuclear abuse, the Indian government has been a vocal supporter of the destruction of nuclear weapon and has called for global effort to achieve a world free of nuclear weapon. India has consistently emphasized the need for a meaningful and time-bound commitment to the destruction of nuclear weapon by country possessing nuclear weapon. In UN, India is one of the members that consider Kashmir is an integral part of its territory. India has repeatedly experienced terrorist attack carried out by the militant group by, based in Pakistan, such as in Mumbai 2008 and attack in the attack of Pulwama in 2019 has increased the tension between the two countries. India has submitted evidence and asked the UN to take action against terrorist group operating in Pakistan. So the relation of which Pakistan India has taken various steps to highlight issues related to the conflict and tension in international forum, including to the UN. India seeks to gain uh, international support in dealing with the terrorist attack originating from Pakistan and promoting a peaceful solution in the Kashmir conflict. So for the what can be conclude uh, the factor influencing India foreign policy toward the Pakistan uh, complex and multi-layer. Uh, this can be seen from the political factor which is threatening regional hegemony, uh, the economy factor which is economy diplomacy and the social diplomacy is a security issue. So the, for the example, we can see the Kashmir conflict, uh, the cross-border terrorism and the weapon capability and aspiration for representation in international organization all have a significant impact on their representative foreign policy choice. That's all from us. Thank you.